Wake up, grab phone, Instagram, butt cheeks, brush teeth, grab phone, TikTok, butt cheeks, make breakfast, corn hub, butt cheeks, work a little, TV, work a little more, YouTube, off work, get dinner, fast food, back on IG, hop in DMs, get rejection, back to the hub, butt cheeks, then bedtime, and Sally, repeat. Unfortunately, this is the life of the average modern male in today's society, and in this video, I'm going to be detailing why modern men are depressed and how they can change that with dopamine detox. So no Sega Dreamcast, y'all know I don't like to play games, so we gonna hop right into it. The quick rundown of this video goes like this. We're gonna talk about the pleasure pain spectrum. We're gonna talk about how pain and pleasures are the main motivators to everything that we do. And then we're gonna talk about how the avoidance of pain is leading men to actually experience more pain. And then finally, how that pain is causing men to do things that distract them from pain, which ultimately is leading to their downfall. So number one, the pain and pleasure spectrum. So it's widely believed that really only two things motivate a man, either pain or pleasure. And in our current state, we have all gotten so used to avoiding pain at all costs and going after pleasure with everything we got. And the sad part is our reality, our society makes this so easy. Think about it. With the push of a button, you can see the hottest girl you've ever seen in your life bang a dude. With the push of a button, you can have your favorite fast food delivered to you in 15 minutes. Technology has made it so easy for us to go after pleasure. But guys, what's wrong with that? Well, I'm glad you asked. In a book, I read that the body is always working to maintain balance and also believe that the universe works like that. So in a world and in a body where it's always trying to maintain balance, if you are constantly and always going after pleasure, at some, at some point, it's gonna have to self-correct. That means it's gonna have to go back the other way. In other words, our constant pursuit of pleasure is leading men to a lifetime of pain. If you think real hard, that sounds like something, doesn't it? It sounds like a drug addict. Think about it. The, the drug that they take, it gives them pleasure. They love it. But the constant pursuit of that pleasure does what? It eventually leads them to their downfall. You see, the problem is when we are constantly pursuing pleasure in the form of cheap little dopamine hits, something happens, a process takes place. Number one, you get that dopamine hit. And of, of course, at the beginning, you feel better. But then a little bit after that, you immediately feel worse. Number two, you eventually become desensitized to whatever was giving you that pleasure. And then you need more of it, AKA the more you do it, the more boring it becomes. And then the more of it you need, before you can actually feel something again. The third stage is your dopamine receptors get so over flooded that it's hard for you to feel anything at all. You start to think life is bland and boring and nothing really excites you anymore. And at this point, sadly, you're no longer okay with yourself. You're no longer okay with just existing. And what I find so interesting is I read these two things in this book called Dopamine Nation. And these two quotes really just blew my mind. The more we are exposed to pleasurable stimuli, the lesser the pleasure becomes and the stronger the pain becomes. And in a dopamine deficiency state, the scales eventually tip in favor of pain. This means that we are not only less able to experience pleasure, but we are also more sensitive to pain. And that's exactly when it hit me. It was like, boom, right there. Boom. That's, that, that's it. That is exactly why the modern man, after chasing all this pleasure for so long, the modern man has become so sensitive to pain. Think about it. The modern man today, he can't sit in a room by himself and sit still with his thoughts. The modern man today can't even step out of his comfort zone because he's afraid to fail. He's afraid of failure. The modern man today, we've seen guys get rejected by girls and commit suicide. The modern man is so sensitive to pain that they can no longer handle it. They did can't handle it. And it's gotten so bad to the point that they will do literally, and I mean literally anything they can to avoid pain. Which leads me to my next point. When your body is so desensitized to dopamine, it becomes hard for people to just cope and exist. I mean, literally just being, just being is miserable for the modern man. And since they don't want to be miserable, they have to distract themselves. Because if they don't distract themselves, then they're going to hate existing and they're gonna be miserable and so on and so forth. So in efforts to avoid being a miserable mess, the modern man moseys right back onto his vices that will distract him. He hops from Pornhub to social media, back to Pornhub, to junk food, to drugs, to alcohol, back to Pornhub, and then back to junk food. And he does all that just to avoid those miserable feelings. But what he doesn't realize is that all those actions, all those actions will give him only temporary pleasure. And eventually they will lead to pain and then eventually his inevitable downfall. Which leads me to the granddaddy point of this entire video. So if you haven't paid attention to anything up until this point, pay attention now. Remember when I said the body balances itself out, always comes back to homeostasis. And I said that if you always are constantly chasing pleasure, it will eventually lead to pain. Well, there's a yin and a yang to that. What I mean by that is by seeking out pain, you could eventually find pleasure. I know what you think. Y'all don't believe me. Huh? I, I know. Let me explain. Think about it. 
Working out sucks, but the benefits that you'll get from it are great. Reading a book is boring, but the knowledge and experience you'll learn from it is worth it. Think about it, everything that you want to do probably is not very fun, kind of maybe even a little bit painful in the beginning. But if you keep doing it and doing it and doing it, it eventually leads to a pleasurable result for you. And now to tie all this back up, a dopamine detox is what will allow you to reset your dopamine receptors so that your levels come back down to normal. So that now it doesn't take you 38 videos on Pornhub just to get excited. When your body is reset to its normal levels of dopamine, maybe going out and writing your goals down, that will start to excite you again. Maybe going out and making that cold call for the business, that will excite you again. Maybe going out and going out and working out so you're not a fat piece of shit will excite you again. Do you, do you feel what I'm saying? The whole point of this is just switch your mindset. Instead of always chasing after the pleasure and ending up with pain, maybe let's go after the things that are painful at first so we can get the pleasure that we seek in the long run. But anyway, guys, I just gave you the main reasons why the modern man is depressed today and how they can use dopamine detox to fix that. I hope you guys found value in this video. And if you did, come on, help your boy out, please. I'm trying to grow this channel. Do your boy a favor, hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell, join the gang, gang, gang. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. You know what it is, your boy glasses out. Peace.